It's honestly huge. Um, being able to represent a team that I support and believe in and an area, right? Like being able to represent the city of Atlanta and the Southeast in, in general is, is super exciting for me. You know, putting the city map on our chest, literally in our jerseys is um, something that I'm looking forward to. So I'm curious because, you know, obviously he comes from a family of, of rugby players. How did you kind of first initially get interested in rugby? So I had an English friend um, growing up in high school and I finished football and I wasn't sure you know, if I wanted to go play at the next level or what. So I took the opportunity to go play rugby, instantly fell in love with it and um, never looked back. I was kind of teasing him, you know, I don't know a ton about rugby so forgive me if I sound dumb. Um, but I kind of feel like rugby players are like football players but even more tough because you guys don't have the pads, you guys are just running into each other full speed. I mean, is, is it kind of a more physical version of football? In some ways, I'd say yes, for sure. We don't have the pads on, right? We're getting right in there, making the tackles with, with no protection. Um, one thing that we don't do that football players do is just kind of bash. Like, right, they look for shoulder charges and kind of putting your head right in their chest. But if you don't have pads on, you don't have a helmet, um, you're going to be a little more you know, technical about your tackling skill. So that's one thing that our coaches and rugby players across the board preach is that technical skill of tackling and making sure we're doing it correctly to avoid injury. So if you're doing it correctly, it's not as dangerous as it looks. Absolutely. I mean, there's always, sure. you know, there's going to be injuries. It's a contact sport. You're going to get um, some, you know, cut up eyes or shoulders going out, things like that. But it's, it's definitely a lot safer than it may appear to the, you know, to the viewer. Now one thing I've always wanted to know, what's it like in a scrum? It's hard. It's a lot harder than it looks. I think sometimes it looks like they're just leaning into each other, but it's actually all eight on each side exerting as much force as possible, right? So think about five seconds exerting as much force as you can, squeezing and pushing. Um, it's intense, but sometimes on like a really cold day, it's nice. Get in warm with the guys, you know? <laughs> Is it, does it hurt or is there like, is there a lot of like shoving? Like, do, is there something crazy that's ever happened to you in a scrum? What happens? I mean, you know, there's always some little cheeky stuff that goes on in any sport. And when there are a bunch of bodies around is when, um, you know, maybe th those sorts of things can happen. But I'd say for the most part, especially at this level, everyone is, you know, trying to play as clean as possible because you don't want to get a card and, and that really hurts your team's chances of winning. How much, I know you didn't necessarily grow up here, but you are from here. How much do you follow Atlanta sports? How much do you care about Atlanta sports? Uh, the Falcons were my first um, football team. You know, like Steelers, Falcons is what I grew up with. Um, the Hawks I've recently gotten into, and I think it's the, the opportunity to go see Vince Carter play is super exciting. Um, you know, the Braves, great team. And one of the things that we tried to do was, you know, match our color scheme to the other teams in Atlanta, right? So we're just around the corner from the Braves Stadium. We're red, we're black, we're silver. Um, those are the sorts of things we're looking for because we want to, you know, be just like those teams. What are you guys doing to try and, because that sounds like trying to appeal to the Atlanta sports crowd. Is there anything else that you guys are doing to try and make sure that, you know, this fan base does grow from here? So one of the things that we've done um, is link up with some of the fans from Atlanta United. Um, they've done extremely well, right? They're, they're a new, new club as well, and um, they've shown what sports fans in Atlanta can do and how their support um, can influence a team's production, right? So we, wanted, we got some of those fans to come over, and they're going to be in our uh, rowdier fan section leading some chants and cheers and things like that. Have some of them already come by at all? I think, yeah, we've had some meetings with, um, you know, at the higher level, above my pay grade with those guys and uh, getting them excited about what's to come because we want to get everybody excited, right? If you haven't seen a game of rugby, you're missing out. It seems like Atlanta, Atlanta's become such a diverse city. I mean, it's always been diverse, but as people move here, the diversity continues to grow. Do you feel like that helps kind of establish a sport like rugby and, and help it gain popularity? Absolutely. Um, rugby is worldwide. It's played all over because all you really need is that ball, you know, and, and some patches of grass. So uh, I think it has that worldwide appeal and having so many different cultural influences here in Atlanta is huge for the sport. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons that this market was approached for a team. And Scott Lawrence, obviously kind of a well-established coach. What, what kind of style is he bringing here? Um, he's intense. 
he cares about his players and their production, um, and he he's a very straightforward guy, wants to get the job done, wants to bring the best not just on the pitch but to the community. So we're doing community events. We want to be a part of the Atlanta community, not just a team that's in it. Last one. Um, this city loves championships, loves titles, but they don't really get any. Do you guys think that you'll be able to kind of deliver on that? That's absolutely a goal every season, right? We want to we want to strive for the best, and the best is a championship. So if we can bring that to the city of Atlanta, we're more than happy to. I lied. I got one more because I, I saw the stuff on social media about the Beast. She mentioned the Beast. Who is the Beast, and what does it mean to go up against it? So for me, I'm super excited to be able to play against you know someone of his legacy and caliber. Um, he's a South African prop. He's a beast, <laughs> as the name denotes. So it's exciting to have that opportunity, right, to be able to play against someone who's considered one of the best. Will he kind of help legitimize this league as it continues to move forward? I think so. Um, one thing, you know, we're trying to build a younger American player base, but one thing that players like that can do is help inspire people to want to play rugby, right? So if you're a kid and you get to go see someone like that play, then maybe that'll, you know, excite you and you'll want to play this sport, but also, you know, mentorship and, and bringing guys in who have more experience to mentor some of, some of the players who don't.